ain't even much gonna hold you. Damn it, the community say they tired. They tired of a Arcadia drug house in their community. They have been fed up Sick with a nearby of. drug house. Well, now that could be changing. NBC2, Samantha Serbin's talking with Arcadia police about how some frustrated neighbors helped put mm -hmm. two women behind bars. The neighbor, the neighbor snitching. Go ahead, go ahead, go, go, go. go. Ron McMinns and Latifa McBurney are no strangers to the DeSoto County. Hey, sugars. Watch what was in the house. Jail. Both were out on bond. McBurney for murder when Arcadia police started getting calls about a nuisance house. One of them was out on murder charge. Jesus. A nuisance house is just what we define as something that or the public has called and called in a lot of complaints and raising suspicion on suspicious activities where it becomes a nuisance for our community. You know, when people called in the complaints on this house, they were kind of specific on what they thought was going on. What was going Why is we allowing people to be out on murder charge? Well, 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 because you got to prove that somebody actually did. All right, all right, all right cool, 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 cool. Going on? was cooking up crack cocaine. That's what's APD up. APD went in the South Alabama Avenue home on a search warrant Wednesday. That's that cocaine and baking soda. That's all I heard is the recipe. Go ahead, go, go. Well, when my guy showed up at the search warrant to do the search warrant, um, one of the females, she took off running inside the house and locked the door right when we got to her yard. When officers got inside, not only did they find crack cocaine, but scales, marijuana, and other paraphernalia. They charged both women with narcotics offenses. Marshal Matt Anderson says public calls made a difference here. So if you see something suspicious, I would encourage them to please continue to call. Additional arrests and charges are pending in this investigation. Mm -hmm. Reporting in Arcadia, Samantha Serbin, NBC2. Well, now that could be changing. Damn. NBC2, Samantha Serbin's talking with Arcadia police about how some frustrated neighbors helped put two women behind bars. Bilan McMinns and Latifa McBurney are no strangers to the DeSoto County Jail. Both were out on bond. How did both of them at the same time be out on bond? Were they charged with the same thing or they just got arrested like the same day or something like that right now? Mm. McBurney for murder when Arcadia police started getting calls about a nuisance house. A nuisance house. I did listen. They just educated me because I didn't know. That's what a nuisance house is. That's just what we define as something that or the public has called and called in a lot of complaints. So if you keep calling on your neighbors and shit like that right there, that, that now becomes a nuisance house. And shout out to John Jay for the five dollar cash up. I appreciate that right there. And raising suspicion on suspicious activities where it becomes a nuisance for our community. You know, when people called in the complaints on this house, they were kind of specific on what they thought was going on. What was going on mm -hmm. was cooking up crack cocaine. They was working. They, 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 listen, there's entrepreneurs in the community. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and um, they had the proper, well, they have the right clientele for where they is at. You know, hey, shit jumping. That's the only reason that they're cooking. And shout out to them cooks. Everybody can't cook. Let me say that again. Everybody can't cook as an entrepreneur. The 407 is checking in. APD went in the South Alabama Avenue home on a search warrant Wednesday. Mm -hmm. well, when my guy showed up at the search warrant to do the search warrant, um, one of the females, she took off running inside the house and locked the door right when we got to her yard. When officers got inside, not only did they find crack cocaine, but scales, marijuana, and other paraphernalia. They found the scale, bitch! Weigh it out, y'all. Weigh it out. A lot of people like to use their eye. Get your numbers right. Shout out to Winston for the $1 cash up. I appreciate that right now. They charged both women with narcotics offenses. Marshal Matt Anderson says public calls made a difference here. So, so the public, you, you people, um, when you tell on people, or yeah, when you call in a tip and shit like that right there, um... You help out your community if you don't want this stuff in your community. So if you see something suspicious, I would encourage them to please continue to call. You would encourage them, but listen, y'all, as law enforcement cannot tell the people who y'all apprehend that your neighbors called us. A lot of y'all be doing some slick shit out here in the street. Now, that, God damn it, I just got to keep it real. Y'all, y'all, y'all do some slick shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Your neighbor across the street, which house? <laughs> Wherever I turn my head at, wherever I turn my head at, that that's the house who's snitching. 
some police departments have gotten, well, some police officers have gotten people houses shot up behind that right there. Telling the people who y'all apprehending, yeah, your neighbor right there, call on you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all play too much out here in the street. But listen, 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 man. Um, We got to do better as entrepreneurs. If you want to stay in business, we got to find different ways to be business people, you know, as entrepreneurs in the community. So just keep doing what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? And shout it out on murder, man. That's what's up. Moving right along. Ain't much going on, you.